Hello beautiful ones, Luann Marine here. I wanted to quickly jump on today and just share a, a little business tip um, of what's going on. So as you know, for those who do know, tonight is the full moon. So the full moon is about, and I'm getting to the business side of this, so full moon is about releasing stuff that no longer serves you and have the goddess inner circle group and we kind of affirming you know what are we releasing not taking forward into the new into the new moon and and all that stuff but what i have come to realize is that there's certain things in your business that you need to release so i'm i'm doing this video to kind of bring to your awareness are there things in your business that you need to let go of? And now is the perfect timing for it. And as we're going into spring, can you feel the different energy? Yeah, there's newness, there's lots of you know, spring cleaning, detoxing, just something new in the air, even though the situation is as, as it is and definitely in Melbourne. So we're not gonna talk about that today, but some things that you might want to let go of in your business and i love that quote i think i was watching something the other day and it says you'll never work a day in your life if you love the work that you do or something like that and that is so very true but having your own running your own spiritual business you know we can get challenged we can get challenged and it can get make us feel stuck it can make us you know doubt ourselves when there's just some things in there that you might need to, you know, zhuzhi up, like declutter in your business. So some of the things that you may have to let go of is, you know, the belief that your business has to look like somebody else's. And that can, you know, that comes up in the comparison game. Like, you know, they're charging that much, so I should be charging that much, or how do they charge that much? Or, you know, they've got this beautiful website or an opt-in page, mine should look like that. No, it doesn't. Yours has to look and feel like you. And there's nothing worse than seeing lots of cookie cutter kind of websites out there or, or just just things that are the same flavor, right? You are your own unique snowflake and your flavor is different and it does not have to look like anything else. You can just make it up. So that would be good to let that belief go. Another thing is like letting go of the things that you don't like doing in your business. Now I know if you're just starting up and you know you have to kind of do everything yourself and and um, you know you just you haven't got as much money to invest. But there does come a time when even you I think I did a video about this the other day. But if you do value your time and you do hate some of the things that are doing, say like for instance tech right or um setting up an email like you may love writing them but you could hand that off to a to an assistant that they can send it out to your email list or doing the accounting you know doing the bookkeeping um just things like that even though you can be capable of it but you just don't really like it and your time would be better invested somewhere else so that is something that you can let go definitely tonight and old services and old programs that you have you know there's oh, Sometimes, I mean, previous businesses I've had or pre previous ways of my business looked, definitely when I was doing all the goddess workshops and things like that, I had a lot of stock and I had a lot of cards and I had a lot of crystals and I had a lot of, I mean, I even had some um, chakra tattoos. I still have those. I hold on to those. But there's, that I don't sell those as anymore. So I had to let those go, delete them from my website um or services that you don't want to do anymore you know at times we evolve and we bring out different programs and ways that we want to work with other people but you still have the other you know the other offerings on your website somewhere that people you know some some may go and push the button to go and pay for it and doesn't go anywhere get it off release it let it go wish it love and and out the door it goes so and it's time for a review, right? Review what you do like. God, that's, that sounds in my eyes. Anyway, so that was, I just wanted to come on quickly and do that. And then the other thing that came up, I was reading, um, I found an article about the four things psychologists actually say to overcome the fear, right? So the fear, like there can be fear about around letting stuff go. Definitely, definitely in your business. If it's, if it's, you think it's, kind of served you for a long time but there is you know again release it with love but um, um, these interesting things about fear 
and one of the things is because if you let something go you will naturally be some, trying something new so the first thing on here is to tell yourself it's okay right your brain has all these great wirings and all that kind of thing so telling yourself it's okay will make you feel much better instead of the negative associations and, and I love this I love this so it's like yeah stop beating yourself up the second thing and I found this really interesting was get rid of the spotlight effect and it's kind of comes into what I was saying before about the so I should have put that blind down about the you know looking at somebody else's work and going oh not good enough or I should have done it that way and but the spotlight effect is if you've never heard of it is is the belief that everybody is watching you closely when rea in reality nobody is so that can kind of make you feel stuck and, and not wanting to change or you know you're when you're doing something vulnerable it's it's new so you know you, you might feel like a bit of a failure trying something new but caring what other people think, right? So it's this performance thing. Don't worry about it. Most people are really just interested in themselves. So, excuse me, with this, this light, it's too bright. So I thought that was really interesting. The other, the third thing is that mindset, well, mindset over everything else. And this is the thing, you know, if you, if you are in a negative mindset and you wanna start something new, don't bother right change your mindset change make sure don't attempt anything new until you are in a good state of mind like I wouldn't do videos if I wasn't up and about like nothing worse than I'm like oh yeah I'm just reading things right I've got to be high vibe I've got to be positive and not care of the spotlight effect all that kind of stuff so mindset is really important and it's the biggest thing you know mindset will get you through so do things to increase your increase your mindset and the fourth thing that's on here is preparation right so we all we all love to think that we can start out something new in an instant and it will be an expert um but it doesn't always work out that way of how many things i've failed at whatever but it's kind of a rite of passage but preparation is the key like having everything you know, tune into what you should be doing ahead of the time when this new thing so i love these four things um i actually might put on my blog uh, my blog but it was really interesting how you deal with that fear and you know the fear of letting go but let it go with love let it go with um to go out into the ethers and be burnt off and start anew like this is spring new energy good time and make your business aligned to how you want it to be aligned nobody else has got the plan here it's your plan you created it you experience it you're the one helping people you know with your beautiful work and so keep stepping out and shining and so if you you know let me know what do you think about this is it like is something resonated with you here and i do want to invite you so to on next monday i am doing a five day live series and it's called the spiritual entrepreneur's guide to stepping out and shine so it's for those who want to be visible right who want to be visible show up come out of hiding i work with a lot of i mean i see a lot of people in the healing industry um, who is just so great so great at their work and they're the world's best hidden secret unlike the sun here the, the biggest secret because there is this thing there is this fear of coming out you know nothing's perfect like my lighting <laughs> um, saying the wrong things all, all that kind of thing when their work has to come through their, their, their presence and, and everything so I'm going to share five awesome things like how to get over the poor healer myth um how to create an online course that people actually want and pay money for how to follow the path laid in your hands which is about your purpose how to stop smoking, saying how to stop playing small and have the uh, have the confidence to stop apologizing for all your gifts and then how to embrace being visible and to attract your clients and keep them coming back for more to work with you right so that i'm going to put a link down below or up here or somewhere around here um and yeah let me know what you're going to release let me know what's going to release so for me yeah i'm going back into all these products that i have in my drawer and i'm going to just let them go let them go i don't know if i should gift them or, should, or i should just throw them out but time to declutter new energy coming in so mwah, lots of love to you many blessings and come and join us in the spiritual entrepreneur's guide to stepping out and shining bye for now